name is Jade. I'm the co-founder and co-creator of Totem, the feel-good game. Um, today, I'm going to walk you through the demo of uh, the Totem virtual team building activity. So at the end of that video, you will understand how this activity uh, can be experienced by teams of literally any size. So it always starts, so everyone is in a big group all together. So if you have 10 person, 40, 100, we start with everyone in a huge conference uh, call, conference room, Zoom uh, or Teams. And um, together we just start by first presenting Totem, what Totem is. So uh, we created that beautiful little box uh, that allows people to hear what are the strengths that others are seeing in them, what they appreciate when they are close to them. And today we are at 100,000 games sold in 33 countries. So we're super proud of that. Um, and once we've just presented to them, we want to establish the communication as soon as possible in that moment that we will experience together. So we just ask the icebreaker question, best self, what are the first things, first words that come into your minds comes into your mind when you hear those words and we just start interacting with everyone what does it makes you think when you hear those words best self then we present them little stories about the best self and we end up going into uh, science so in the self-determination theory they will learn that uh, researchers did not call that best self, uh, they call that strength-based theory. So how can we experience well-being and performance uh, on the long term, those level going up in the long term of well-being and performance. Uh, they will learn that autonomous motivation increase the level of well-being and performance in the long term and that today we can predict if someone will be mainly motivated by autonomous sources if there is three basic and universal needs that are fulfilled. The needs for um, affiliation, the needs for competency and the needs for autonomy. So. They will learn all that. It's an, an interactive uh, moment that we uh, experience together. And we let them know that today we will work on those three basic needs. So it brings some science, some uh, scientific information in the activity that is more emotional. So uh, usually that little intro allows us to really uh, have on board everyone, which is more pragmatic, more, you know, uh, um, more scientific or more organized in their way of thinking. Then we just break the big group into breakout rooms. Uh, we have our, our subgroup are between five and eight person uh, per subgroups per breakout rooms. So five is quicker than eight person per breakout room. Usually the activity uh, is between one and a half to three hour long uh, and so eight person is longer than three than than five person you will understand why a little bit later we send people into breakout rooms and there they are doing a little uh, let me show you a little round table to express something uplifting so everyone will share something uplifting in one to two minutes what they are doing is that they are just sharing who they are to others without really knowing that they are doing that. So uplifting round table and then everyone will receive uh, choosing. So it's a choosing card step. Everyone will receive 10 animal cards and 10 quality cards. They are all positive related. And we will ask them to choose one card for everyone in their group. This is what this screens look like so we have here the selection of animal cards you see all those animal cards with positive uh sentence on them so what i like about you you aim for perfection in everything you do ego so we have 80 different quality cards in the totem game everyone has received 10 cards they are all unique and they just assign the card to other people this way you just click on the card the name of other player appear and then i click on someone's name and i just assign uh that card to that person so i assign animal card to everyone in my group then i assign quality card and then we bring everyone back together in the big conference room 
then we will invite them to uh, discover all the cards given by other players, but they don't know who gave them which card. So everyone will see this screen where they discover all the cards given by Hutter, but they don't know who gave them which cards. They will select one totem that represents their best self, their autonomous motivation, uh, and by not knowing, of course, who gave which cards. Once they selected their totems, we will teach to everyone in the group a feedback technique that brings you know that uh, that uh, that gives you higher chance of having an impact in other people's lives so having an emotional impact this is three steps super easy step one observation fact step two uh, strength that you perceive in other and step three appreciation what does it brings to my life having uh, you with those strength so and the last part of the activity is that they will go back into their breakout room and there will be one receiver at a time uh, that will just you know receiver as their card like that and there's a, a, a timer I reveal my totem five four three two one boom I reveal my totem and now we have the name of the two person who gave those cards that, uh, that is right under the card and the uh, person who gave that card will have to explain his choice by following the three steps of the feedback technique and step four, inviting others to add uh, on that that story, on that card. So if someone is like, oh, I have something to share with you all, that person will just add on this. Uh, and the receiver at one moment, let me tell you one thing, it will be like, enough for me, I'm done receiving, that's too hot. And that person click on, I'm done receiving. It's not over yet, we continue with the other card. Uh, let me show you what the screens look like. It looks like this. So here we are in Tessa screen, which is the giver, the person who gave the card. She has the three steps, it's super easy. Read the card, this is the strength step, observation, uh, fact, uh, just share a story with other in, in, in related to that card. And finally, appreciation, and I invite other to speak. There's always some rules between that, you know, revelation of the totems. Um, we always ask to speak at the second tense to close the gap so people really feel it's personal. And second rule is that the receiver cannot talk. It's a huge, huge, huge feel-good moment. Uh, people sometimes are in tears because they are not used to get so much great thing, to hear so much great thing about themselves and without <laughs> being able to talk. Once the activity is completed, we complete that round table. Everyone receive a beautiful past activity report. You see this here. So Tessa received her totem and all the cards she has received during the activity with the name of everyone who gave which, who gave which cards. Then uh, for the manager, the manager will receive a post activity report with all the totem of everyone in the team and a testimonial page where you see all the great comments that we collected during the activity uh, from people who just experienced it. And let me tell you one thing, those testimonials that we receive are just beautiful and you know people express love to each other and this is what this activity is all about we also have free gift for all participants oh not the mug <laughs> this one is not free but people will get a uh, free desktop background email signature and zoom teams background as well with, with their totem because there are 6400 different totems 80 animal 80 quality so everyone will receive uh, a totem with that uh, the images with the with their own personalized totem on them and of course yeah we're doing mugs too if you have any question you would like to know more you would like to see how that activity could be adapted to your team to your group uh, we really go the long way in terms of number of participants from 8 person to more than 100. Uh, feel free to just contact us. Thank you for your time. Have a wonderful day. <laughs>